Okay, in this video, we're going to go through how to program six flight modes in your Arducopter through Mission Planner and your Futaba 7C. And how we're going to do this is we're going to assign switch E here to channel 5, and we're going to create an offset program mix on channel A so that we got three positions on channel on switch E, and we got two positions on channel on switch A, so that gives us a total of six positions between the two of them. So as you can see what we got here in Mission Planner I'm already connected to my Arducopter and we go to configuration and we go to flight modes and it brings us into this page okay. So um, I'm going to go through and show you how I completely did it and uh, without going into geeking out how I did, got to the numbers but if you want to later on at the very end of the video I'll go through and I'll actually show you how I came up with um, the offsets and the endpoints um, just by doing some calculations uh, on a spreadsheet. Okay, so first of all, we're just going to go through and program it up. So the first thing we're going to do is assign channel 5 to switch E. So we do that by pushing down this button right here, pushing it again, and we choose our down arrow key here until we get to parameters, hit enter down arrow, channel 5, switch E, it's already assigned to switch E, but you can switch through here and get to the, all through the different numbers depending on what your switch is already at, so we're at switch E, we hit enter, hit enter again, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change our endpoints, so we're going to push and hold the button right here, we're going to go down, change our, oops, go down to endpoints, roll that down to endpoints, hit enter, Okay, right now we're in points. The default for is starts off at channel one. So first, I'm going to get over to channel five. So we use the arrow here, go to channel five, and which is switch E. And right now, at the default, to set at 100, 100. Okay, so uh, like I just showed you in that spreadsheet, I figured out that my endpoints have to be at 47, 47. So you switch back and forth between this number and that number by flicking your switch here. Okay, so we're going to start on this side right here. We're going to roll this down. 47. Okay, click it up. We're going to roll this one down to 47. Okay, boom, done. Okay, and we hit end. End. Okay, now we're going to go in and we're going to uh, create a program mix. So uh, switch E and switch A will be a mix together. So we do that by pushing and holding our button again here. We push it again once. It brings us into our program mixes. We're going to use the first program mix unless you've already used it. We hit enter. Your down arrow key. We want to get to the top right here right now. So right now, program mix is on inhibit. We're going to change that to on. Down arrow. The master, we want to change that to offset. Okay, we can, we can roll through all the different channels here. But we have going to be on an offset because that's how we're going to do it. Instead of mixing two channels, we're just going to do an offset on channel 5. So to go down arrow here. Our slave is channel 5, so right now it's at 4, we can roll this around until we get to 5, okay, good. So we hit our down arrow again. Right now uh, it's set for switch D and pointing down. I want to go to switch A. Switch, switch, there, switch A going down. So this is switch A. So the reason I want to use switch A because they're really close to each other and if you have them on opposite sides of the radio I found it confusing so having them close together is is nice so put channel 5 on switch E and your offset on switch A and put it on A down arrow okay we can hit down down here so now since it's an offset it's allowing us to make our change to our offset here and like I showed you on that spreadsheet before I played around with a bunch of different numbers on my uh, a spreadsheet and calculated perfect PWM offset and I came up with minus 50. Got a minus 50 here and that's it. And end, end again. Okay, so now we'll go back to the radio here and our uh, computer. So with a switch E in the farthest away position and switch A in, the, in that position right there, you can see on the computer right here it puts us flight mode one with a PWM of 1129. Okay, so that puts us in the first zone. And when you flick it into the middle position, 
it puts us into flight mode 3, which is loiter, at 13.89. Click it in the closest position. It puts us into flight mode 5 at 16.49. Okay, so we're going to flick this back down again. Now we're going to put the A channel into the second position here. And now that automatically, when you flick that, it automatically puts us into flight mode 2 at uh, 12.60. Middle position puts us in at 1519 in mode four, and the last position puts us in at flight mode six at 1780. Now you can change each one of these to, to what you want just by going down and, and clicking that, and it allows you to change those. Um, the important thing and the hard thing to do is to creating switch positions that got us into all the different. Uh, flight mode uh, get us into one of these zones and these are the ranges we have to work with here and that's uh, that's about it that's how you program the Futaba 7C to get the six flight modes now if you're interested I if you want to if you're done and you've got your radio program you can stop the video right now if you want to see exactly how I got to those numbers I'll go through that now okay so um, these are the six different zones um, this is uh, zone one, zone two, zone three, zone four, zone five, zone six. Okay, and with uh, the, the radio, without doing anything to the radio, without doing any offsets or doing any changes to the endpoints, um, I'm just going to show you the numbers that I came up with. Okay, so without doing anything to the endpoints, um, in switch position, in, in the in the first position, here, let me bring the radio back in here. In this position, farthest away, I came 966. In the middle position, it was 1519, and then 2072, okay? So I played around and changed my endpoints to different zones here, and these are the different numbers that I got in that position, okay? Switching them back and forth, okay? So what I found was when I calculated this all out, because I was actually looking for the dead perfect uh, point, and so if you take the this zone right here, each one of these zones, and you calculate the perfect middle point because there's 129 points between the different zones. 64 would be the, the midpoint. So I, I did a spreadsheet and calculated the exact midpoint. Now, since these are uh, you know large ranges at the ends, I just basically took the 64 and uh, took that away from 1230, and then added 64 to the 1750, and that gave me my perfect calculated midpoint. If in a perfect world. I was going to create a, you know, get a PWM for each one of these numbers. This is what I was shooting for. The problem was when you're using offsets in your mix, you can't change the middle switch position number. No matter what you did to your endpoints, it's always 1519, which puts the middle position without an offset in channel in um, flight mode four all the time. So since my calculated perfect point was a 1555, and I couldn't change it from 1519, there's a difference of 36. So um, I decided to subtract 36 from each one of these other zones off of the calculated perfect midpoint, and that was my new target number for all of the different zones. So for um, 2, 4, and 6, which is what we were shooting at before earlier, that's how I came up with that number. So I just, I just dialed in my endpoints you know, I, I punched in my endpoints. Uh, you know, I just dialed this number down until I got to that number, and that's what we did on the radio. We just took that, put it in this in this mode, and dialed it down until I got 1259, 1519. It's always going to be 1519 in the middle position. And then I did the same thing and looked for this exact number right here, 1778, in that position there. So that's how I changed my endpoints. Now I went to and I did my offsets. I rolled my offsets back and forth to to I got this number. Okay, so I've already got them, got two, four, and six set in that position. So that would be in the switch position like this. And um, when I go into this position, I wanted to be into zone one, three, and five. And what I did was I just so my my perfect point that I'm shooting for is eleven twenty nine, thirteen eighty nine, and sixteen forty nine. So I just changed my offset. Uh, down and I rolled it down till I got those numbers and it worked out perfectly that as I rolled my offset down and I was looking for this number right here 
and I just clicked, clicked, clicked it down, and right when I hit minus 50, it was 11.29. Um, and that's how I got that, so that if, when I'm in that specific position, at minus 50 on the offset, it automatically put my position 3 at, 18, at 13.89, and my um, position 5 at 16.49, which was perfect. So um, I know that totally geeked out and bored you to death, and I... Anybody stayed this long to listen to all that, I applaud you. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.